guys, welcome back to the channel. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody is doing well. Well guys, I'm in kind of a different setup here. I'm at the kitchen table. So hopefully everything is framed up all right. The dishwasher is going, so hopefully that's not too noisy and you guys can hear me okay. Uh, I am in full on Halloween mode, guys. Uh, that's why, you know, I dug out a couple of pumpkins. These are usually the two that go into, or my jack-o'-lanterns, I should say. They go into my Halloween uh, studio usually, but I broke them out a little bit early because this is going to be kind of a Halloween video. We are going to be talking uh, some new Halloween candy. I was at work the other day and I noticed the shelves were filled with Halloween candy in August. Awesome. And there's some here that are kind of spooky Halloween type candy and I thought we would talk about that. And then I just have a few recommendation videos that I'd kind of like to, or movies that I'd like to kind of go over with. Uh, go over with you guys. They're just basically movies that aren't really straight Halloween movies, but they're movies that kind of just remind me of fall and remind me of getting into Halloween and, you know, getting the whole spooky season started. I mean, granted, I have already started my spooky season, but these are the ones that I really like to start watching around September when we've actually kind of reached that fall period. And we're only about two weeks or less than two weeks away from September here. So, uh, I figured it's a good time to do this video. So let's just go over, uh, and these treats here that we're talking about, they make a great snack for when you're watching movies. Spooky movies during spooky Halloween season. Um, so yeah, let's just, uh, we're going to get started. We're going to do the uh, candy. We'll open it up. We'll kind of take a look at it. We'll try it out. Then we'll go over the movies. I'll try to make this as quickly as possible because we got a lot of candy to get through. And, well, about eight movies to talk about, but... I can usually go through it pretty quickly. So, let's get started. Uh, two of these here. We're going to start off with these two small ones. This is this is no new. Some of this candy, it's new to me. It might not be new to you guys, but it's the first time I've seen it. But the Reese's pumpkins are not new. Those have been here forever and ever and ever and ever. It's just basically a Reese's uh, pumpkin. And I, uh, I'm not going to actually eat this one. I'm going to save this one for uh, my dad. I said he could have that one. Um, he can also have this Butterfinger. But I am going to open up this Butterfinger because there's a cool skull on it. And I want to show off the cool skull on here. Um, and I'll have to zoom in. I'm kind of a ways away from the camera. But we'll just hold that up. I'll zoom that in. And hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, pretty well um, otherwise I'll just have to take a picture of it and show it to you guys in another frame uh, th th be aware if you buy these butterfingers they're not normal butterfingers it's basically a chocolate bar with like slivers of butterfinger in it I'm not a big fan of that so I'm also giving that one away I'm gonna be sharing all of this candy uh, but uh, that one I don't want at all, so my dad can have both those first two. Next up, we have some Twix uh, ghosts, and they're just shaped like ghosts. I'm assuming they're exactly the same as any other Twix, but we're going to open it up here and just take a look-see. And yeah, it's, uh, it's like a spooky little ghost. And we'll, uh, I'll zoom in on that. Hopefully you guys can see that. If not, I will take another picture so that you guys can see it. But let's just cut into it here. I'm just going to take a little bit of it here. We'll share this. And yeah, it just looks like a basic Twix. It looks like it might have a little more caramel in it. I think it does. I think there's a little more caramel than a normal Twix. A little bit thicker on the caramel. Um, otherwise, it tastes like a normal Twix. All right, guys, we're going to move on to uh, Snickers. Which I think these are probably just the same. But these are jack-o'-lanterns. They're just shaped like jack-o'-lanterns. And they look really, really cool. I'll show that there. See if you guys can see that. Otherwise, just like everything else, I will just take a picture and show it in the frame. And I'm assuming these are probably going to taste like regular Snickers. But they are cool-looking jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah, it tastes like Snickers, but... I feel like there's not as much nut in there. And the nougat, I don't think it's as much nougat. It's more, it's more of the caramel than anything else. They've really uh, amped up the caramel uh, in this, in these uh, 
in these candies here. Uh, next up, now this is where it gets kind of fun because these are the center parts that have the ghoulish green. So we have a Snickers here again, which also has uh, the nugget in it, but it's green. So I'm kind of curious to see what this is actually going to look like. And yeah, it's just basically nugget with the green there. All right, guys, next up we have Twix. Uh, ghoulish green again. It's basically the same thing. I don't know if I even showed the wrappers on all of these or not. So we're just going to go back and do that. This is just, oops, kind of has a little jack-o'-lantern on there. And the Twix just has some ghoulish ghosts. I don't remember if I actually showed you guys that or not. So now this one, and this is another one too that I'm assuming is just going to taste the same, but it's just it's got the green food coloring in there to make it a little bit more, more fun. So we'll show this one here. And then, yeah, just it's got the green nugget in there, which is kind of cool. And it's probably going to taste exactly the same. And guys, this is the this is the ratio I'm more used to. The ghost, I think, had quite a bit of more caramel in it. Which, don't get me wrong, it's good. It's just a lot of caramel. Alright, so that's it for the regular ones. Now this is the only now the next thing we're gonna do is only the the only one I have here that's not a normal candy bar. It actually has it is a candy bar, but it, it's a different flavor. Hold on one second, guys. Alright, clean my palate because this is actually going to be a new one. So this is our Kit Kat Witch's Brew. I don't tell you it's crispy wafers and marshmallow flavored cream. Um, so yeah. Is that there? And I have never tried these before. These were recommended by a co-worker. She claims that they're delicious. I can take marshmallow. In small doses. Like, I like marshmallow, but just not a ton. And there it is there in the package. Uh, and it is green, which is kind of cool. Getting a sugar rush. All right. So, here we go. Just the normal green Twix. We'll, uh, we'll cut into it here. We'll see if it, uh, see if it looks any different on the inside. It looks normal, it's just too small, but we'll see. Let's see what it tastes like. It's not too bad, but it's not, I definitely prefer the regular. It's not something I could eat all the time. It's definitely not bad. Okay. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of like if you were to have a Rice Krispie bar with like some sort of like a frosting, not like, like a hard frosting on it or like a hard chocolate or a hard white chocolate. It, it reminds me a lot of that. So it, it, it is quite good. It's just not as good as the regular ones. So yeah, guys, so that's just a couple of the uh, treats I picked up from work. Um, just thought it would be kind of fun to share them. You got your Twix Ghosts. Your jack o' lantern Snickers, your ghoulish green Snickers, your ghoulish green Twix, and your witch's brew Kit Kats with marshmallows that taste a lot like a Rice Krispie bar with some sort of chocolate on it. So, yeah, that's what we got left over there. We're gonna we're gonna share that. Uh, now let's move on to some movies, guys. Now these movies these are not necessarily all like Halloween movies and most of them really are not Halloween movies but these are just kind of movies that I think are fun kind of spooky type movies that are fun just to kick off the Halloween uh, season and really starts to get you feeling kind of like fall is here cool crisp uh, breeze in the air days are a little bit shorter Halloween is around the corner so these are just some fun movies and let's start off with The Addams Family got this on 4k uh, I love this movie. 
Uh, this, oh, I'll show the back there. I love that. You got the Adams Family House there. And if I recall, I believe the first scene in this is trick-or-treaters at the Adams Family door. So that is definitely Halloween, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, that movie always just kind of reminded me of fall time. Uh, next up, we got E.T. on 4K. Uh, this has this actually has a whole scene, the whole almost last quarter of the movie takes place right around Halloween and not Halloween. But yeah, this movie always, always reminds me of fall, reminds me of Halloween. And it's a fun one for the whole family. So if you're looking, same with Adam's family, if you're looking for something to kind of kick off the uh, kick off the season and you got kids or whatever, those two movies are pretty appropriate. Uh, this movie is also, this movie is also pretty appropriate for uh, young kids too. Uh, and that's Monster House. This movie's a lot of fun. I think this does take place at Halloween or right around Halloween. I know that the, the leaves are changing. They're falling on the ground. I remember there's a couple of scenes of that in here. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it takes place around Halloween. But even if it's not, it definitely is one that gives me those fall, autumn vibes. And lets me know that Halloween is right around the corner. And I live in Minnesota, so right around the corner after that is a bunch of cold and snow. So you don't really look forward to that too much, but the Halloween fall season is a lot of fun. Uh, next up is a movie that is really not too family friendly, but it is Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow. And I know this is getting a 4K release. In fact, I already have pre-ordered the Steelbook because I think the Steelbook looks awesome. And I actually just got this movie not that long ago, and I had mentioned that as soon as I buy this, they're going to announce the 4K. And about two weeks after I bought this, they announced the 4K. Luckily, I only paid five dollars for it, so I'm not too, too bad or too worried about that. But uh, this movie definitely you got the headless horseman. Definitely kind of gives me fall vibes, getting into Halloween for sure. Uh, next up, we got another 4K from Arrow Video. This is not a Halloween movie, but it definitely gives me fall, uh, fall vibes, and that is Children of the Corn. Not the greatest movie, but still a fun movie, and it is a good one to throw in around the Halloween season or even at the beginning of the fall season. Definitely not a family friendly film either. Uh, next up is another film that's kind of family, I wouldn't say like super family friendly, maybe early teens, right before teens. I think this is PG-13 would be okay, but don't show this one to young kids. It is a little bit spooky. And that is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I love that awesome steel book. I got this one on 4K. This movie's just a lot of fun. And this movie does take place around Halloween. In fact, I believe it opens right around Halloween or on Halloween. And this movie, it definitely screams Halloween and screams autumn time. Uh, this next one, I'm not really sure when it takes place, but it's just a good old Friday movie. It's a fun one to throw in around Halloween and during the fall. And that is John Carpenter's The Fog. In this awesome steel book. This looks fantastic in 4K, by the way. We'll show off that back there, which is also absolutely fantastic artwork. And this movie is a lot of fun. Definitely not family friendly, but this movie is awesome. A great one to throw in when there's a cool, crisp uh, breeze in the air. A great Friday night, Saturday night movie. It is definitely a fun one. And last up, I got this beautiful box set. I think I got this from Zavi, maybe. And that is the 4K of Poltergeist. I'm not 100% sure if Poltergeist takes place around Halloween. There's the back. But in the beginning of the movie, they are watching football. So this movie always kind of gave me fall vibes and it kind of always reminded me of fall. I'm not really sure when it's actually supposed to take place, but there is football on the TV at one point. So I'm just going to say that it's fall time because this movie always uh, was one that I would throw in when it reached, you know, September time. And this movie, not really family friendly either, even though it is PG. Uh, times were different in the 1980s. You get away with a lot more with a lot lesser rating. Uh... Probably not really appropriate for real youngsters, but teenagers would probably be all right. So yes, yeah, so that's it. So we got Poltergeist, The Fog, Scary Stories of the Town in the Dark, Children of the Corn, Sleepy Hollow, Monster House, E.T., and The Addams Family. And these are always ones that I kind of just would watch uh, when it got to be around that Halloween time. And it's a good uh, good movie to just kind of 
start off it's not anything that's too straight straight hard there's a couple that are but uh but yeah it's a good way to start to start off the uh halloween season guys so uh that's it guys that's all i got for you i got candy and i got some spooky movies that's about it but thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a big thumbs up let's know you guys like what i'm doing like share comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i will see you guys in the next video and let me know hey down below what do you watch any suggestions for me i do have a lot of other movies that I have in my collection that I do consider fall movies, uh, but I didn't really include them in there. I didn't go with like the Halloween movies and stuff like that because that's just too obvious. Obviously, those are fall movies. But um, but yeah, guys, if you have any suggestions for me, let me know in the comments below. We'll uh, continue the conversation down there. Uh, you guys are amazing as always. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.